G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to be looking at how to subtract one fraction from another. This is a fairly simple sort of uh, thing to do using this thing called uh, the bow tie method. So let's have a look at this. So say you were asked to get three quarters and take away two thirds. Now this is going to be much like adding fractions. We've looked at these in another video, but if you haven't seen this or or maybe you just might want to know the uh, minor differences of these, continue watching. So first off, how are we going to do this? First off, you might realize that when we are subtracting or adding one fraction to another or from another, we have to have these bottom numbers, these denominators the same. Okay, so the easiest way to do that is to multiply them together. Okay, so if we were to do that, four times three, is 12 and because this is going to be the same denominator we're going to use I'm just going to put everything over the top of this denominator now rather than writing a separate one for each. So what number did we times this 4 by to get 12? We times it by 3. Okay so we're going to have to times this number up here also by 3 to keep this fraction equivalent. Okay this one's times by 3 so this one times by 3. This number is times by this number. Okay three threes a 9. What number do we times this 3 by to get 12? Well we times it by this number here, the 4. So we're also going to have to times this 2 by 4. 2 4's are 8. And we keep the symbol in the middle the same. It's just really important when you do this, make sure you start with the left hand ones first and then go to the right hand fractions. Okay, Don't mix those up or you will get the wrong answer. So 9 take away 8 is 1 and the bottom number stays the same. And that's how we solve these. Okay, so we multiply these two numbers first from left to bottom right, from right to bottom left. Okay, we're multiplying and then we just carry it out using that symbol there. And it's as simple as that. Okay, so what about we have a look at uh, another one of these? What about we have a look at, say, uh, let's get uh, four fifths and we'll take away a half. I'm going to go fairly simple ones. I don't want to start getting silly numbers and that. It's not that they can't be done, it's just that they get a bit annoying to deal with, yeah. So we're going to use that same sort of method here. Hey, let's go red pen now. Okay, let's get this bottom number. We'll multiply these, five times two is ten. Okay, what are we going to do now? Okay, so we've multiplied 5 times 2, so we're going to have to multiply 4 times 2. Okay, so 4 times 2 is 8. And now what we're going to have to do is multiply this 1 times 5. Okay, 1 times 5 is 5. And we keep the, sim the symbol in the, same, <laughs> in the middle the same. Subtract. Okay, so 8 take away 5 is 3. Our answer is 3 over 10. Okay. All right, um, now let's just go one more of these. So say what we were doing is I, I was asking you to get, uh, what about four sevenths and I'm going to take away um, one half. Okay, what about you give this a go and see how you go. Alright, you've given it a go already. I'm pretty sure you paused the video, otherwise you should. But I'm going to answer this right now. So 7 twos, 14. Big line. Okay, so that was those ones. 4 twos are 8. 1 7 is 7. 8 take away 7 is 1. We have 1 14th as our answer. So that's how you do these. They're fairly simple, right? And they're much like doing addition ones. Just make sure when you do it, you're starting at that top left and going this way, okay? Not not the other way, because otherwise you'll get the opposite. You'll get the wrong answer. Okay, kind of like the difference that uh, 6 take away 2 is not the same as 2 take away 6. They're, they're going to give you different answers. Um, just one thing, if you get mixed numbers when you're doing these, uh, I have other videos that deal with these, but let's just go through this anyway, just for the heck of it. Um, so say you are asking something like uh, 2 and a quarter take away uh, 1 and 1 third. The first thing you'd have to do is actually change these into an improper fraction. Okay, I have other videos that deal with this, and essentially what we end up doing when we do this is we go 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, and we put this over 4. Okay, the reason for this, I'll just give you a really, really quick explanation on that. If I was to draw 2 and a quarter, 
okay it would look like this okay there's my uh, I've cut three things up into quarters okay there's one two three Da, 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 da. There they are there, my two and a quarter. We have two times four plus one quarters. Okay, so nine quarters. So using that same sort of idea, uh, better keep the same colour. We're going to be going one times three plus one is four over three. And now we treat it the same. We just use this bow tie method again. Okay, so four threes, 12. Nine times three is 27. 4 times 4, 16, take it away, 27, take away 16, is 11 over 12. Very good. Do you want one more of those? Why not, eh? Okay, so see how you go with this one. Okay, they're not going to get much harder than this, are they? So what about we do, um, okay, 3 and one third, take away one and one quarter. I was going to do a quarter. I think we just end up with 12. So let's do another different one. Let's do one and a half. All right, so let's do this. Change it first into improper fractions. Three threes and nine plus that is 10 over three. Take away two, three over two. And then we're going to go two threes are six. Uh, 2 times 10 is 20, and 3 threes and 9, we're going to take these away. Okay, 20 take away 9 is 11 over 6, okay? We can take this a step further because 11 divided by 6 is 1 with 5 left over. We put that 5 over this number here, the 6. Alright, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, one last one. I'm going to make it there, and I'm going to race you. We'll see how good you are. I reckon I'm going to win, okay? And no, I don't know the question beforehand. So let's do five and a half. And we'll take away three and one third. Ready, set, go. Let's go. Okay, so this is 11 over two. Take away 10 over three. And if we then work this out, we're going to get the bottom number six. Uh, 33 take away 20 is 13 over six, which is going to equal two and one sixth. <laughs> How'd you go? Did you win? <laughs> Hopefully got the answer right when I did that. I better double check that. When I do things quickly, I occasionally get them incorrect. So we did get 11 over 2. We got 10 over 3, uh, 6, 33 take away 20. Correct, correct, correct. Hey, look, I reckon I won that one. How'd you go? I'm going to hear comments saying you beat me. Nah, I reckon you're making it up. <laughs> anyway, see you next time. Bye.